Hey there guys and welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Drone Racers. I believe we have a challenge, yes. Let's see if we can not get gypped this time. Okay. I have I don't know if I did that right or not. Hey, I'll take it. That would have been hilarious if I also hit her with this while she was going the wrong way. You know, I'll probably just get rid of this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Boom. Hopefully she'll hit that. That would be nice. Dang, I'm doing way better than I did last time. Maybe it's because I messed up so bad. I didn't get a lap record though. I feel like that aerodynamic really helped. Oh, I was trying to get both, but I ended up getting neither. Oh, no, thank you. Well, it's fine, we'll get extreme stop speed anyway. Dang. She's not catching up at all. Maybe it felt bad that I did so bad last time. Well, I didn't do so bad. Like, right at the end, she jipped me off, but whatever. Anyway, oh, I thought this was last lap. Let's go save. That was easy. Woo! There's a lap record, though. Let's see if I can get both this way. Nope. I got one though that time at least. Let's go. Oh, I thought this was the end. Like right here, I thought it was about the end. Whatever, it's close enough. I don't see myself losing. But that's why I said last time, I think, and I lost. Let's go. How much money do I get for that? I want to see what the time is. I don't know if I can continue and see it or if I have to wait. I gotta find out. Dang. She's only back there? Holy crap. And then she's holy crap! That was way better. I think I just bumped my mic. Um, I want to see. I don't think I have enough money to upgrade something, but we're gonna check real quick to see how much I need. Uh, yeah, garage. Oh, I can upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade armor, which is the only thing I can really realistically upgrade anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that. Because now everything's like so expensive, it's ridiculous. So the only way I'm ever gonna get those is like maybe. Not from this, I can tell you that much. But um, anyways, yeah, challenges. Oops. I usually use the D-pad, but I can't because I have, just because the game doesn't let you use D-pad and joystick. So I just I have to use the joystick, and I'm not used to going through menus with the joystick. But anyways. Yeah. Right. That's fine. If I do what I did last time, I'll destroy her anyway. Does she use the same car as me? No. Oh, I didn't really. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. The good news is I don't think she has a power-up, so I'll just go ahead and risk it. No, she just doesn't hit me. Oh, she's gonna get a power-up here, though, which is gonna suck. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. My nose itches, but it's fine. Shouldn't have itched my nose. Oh, I almost went left. Aw. Oh. That's not interesting. I wonder how much slower you go when you're off-road. Because, I mean, you're off-road anyway, kind of. That's not bad. Let's go. Ooh! I 
wonder how many more episodes it's going to take. I guess it's going to take, actually, it might take, like, at least five more episodes. Because there's still one more challenge. And then there's, like, five more races. So it's going to take, like, six episodes, probably, something like that. I was just thinking about how long I've been doing this series for. I think I've done more episodes in the past two weeks than I have, like, total. Otherwise... I have no idea what I'm going to do next, though. Because the only reason I'm recording this is because I actually feel like it. Like, all the other stuff that I had not finished, I don't really feel like doing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I always figured out that. I almost did that last time, too. Luckily, I'm so far ahead, it doesn't even matter. Probably shouldn't have done that, but luckily, I'm so far ahead, it probably doesn't even matter. There we go, boys gonna hit me after no nope. okay yeah it doesn't tell you if you don't wait but whatever I won so that's all that matters but you just did tell me and yes that's extremely good advice especially on dirt tracks Although it tends to happen more on road tracks. I did that way too early. Oh. I want to see if I can bait out her power up first. Okay, cool. I baited it out. That worked better than I thought. Oh, she's going to get another one, though. If I'm lucky, it won't be good. Doesn't seem like it's good. Well, that wasn't. That could have been worse, I suppose. For sure. I wonder if that tunnel is like actually like, modeled on the inside or textured rather, I guess, on the inside and stuff. The reason I thought about that is because I've always looked at that and thought that it maybe it's like an alternate path. And then also yesterday I watched like a video like of someone showing up a bunch of like. Uh, messing with the camera, like being placed you're not supposed to be looking. Specifically in Xenoblade. Which is a really great game, by the way. I played it on the 3DS. Uh, if you do want to play it, I would highly recommend playing it on the Wii instead. I have not played it on the Wii, but I would definitely recommend that. Because it's going to look way, that game looks so good, and it's going to look way better on a Wii compared to 3DS. But it's so expensive on a Wii, and I guess probably hard to find. I just went for the 3DS version that and I had a new, th that and it's like the only new 3DS game that technically requires a new 3DS to play, so I'm like, hey, I want this, because I have a new 3DS. Specifically, the Majora's Mask, which I don't remember if I ever talked about how I got that, because it wasn't easy. Oh, I just looked where my 3DS is supposed to be, and I didn't see it, and I remembered I was charging it, so I moved it. I guess I can tell the story uh, while I'm thinking about it, and since there's not really much else to talk about. So, um, as you may or may not know, the Majora's Mask uh, new 3DS was uh, came out right when the new 3DS came out. It was special edition, of course. Uh, the other two options in, in the U.S. anyway, oh my goodness, I'm not paying attention to what I'm talking. The other two options in the U.S. were the red and the black one, which are just normal. Although they got a purple one now, which I would... If I ever needed a new 3DS again for some reason, I would totally get that one. But anyways, um, it was sold out everywhere. Every time I went to go buy it online, like for pre-order, it would like sell out like right when I went to buy it or something like that. Anyway, so uh, I ended up that Target actually had some, like pretty much every Target had some like in-store ad opening. Uh, and so I called my Target and they had two. I don't know if they're supposed to tell you how many they had, but they told me how many they had. And then so I went in, but because I called before they actually came, like a week before they actually started selling them or whatever, because they got them in and then they put them on the shelves. Uh, but anyways, um, so I get there, like before they open, they open at like, I want to say eight. Eight 
8 a.m. This is a normal Walmart. There's, I think there's like super Walmart or something like that. It's just not one of those. Um, so anyways, I got there. There was nobody standing in front of the store. I was like, awesome. Because I was like really worried there's going to be like a line. Uh, also, when I called them, I asked them, is there going to be a line? Like, where they like acknowledge, oh, you were here first here, you get first dips. Um, they told me no. Um, and when I got there, there was no one there. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. But I was still kind of worried because I wasn't sure if like we're going to have to rush to like the back to get them or something like that. And then actually, I did see one car. There was like one other car in the parking lot. And it was some other guy that who was also waiting. He had also called ahead and found out that there was only two in stock. So he he would, he got there before me in his car, but that actually I was he was just sitting in his car waiting for other people to get there because he didn't want to stand outside because it was like really cold. That's also what I forgot. It was like below freezing or something like that. Um, so I stood out. I got there at about seven o'clock, I think. So an hour ahead of when they opened. And so I just started sitting there, and then so then the other guy got out of his car and got behind me. Because he knew there was two, so he was just going to go in ahead and get the second one because they didn't want to stand out in the cold for like as short a time as possible. So anyways, um, we were waiting in line and then other people started coming in behind us. And so I, I started talking to the guy because I wanted to make friends with him so that we could like stick up for each other like if we needed to like rush or something like that and, and there's only two available or whatever. So uh, a little while before the store opens, the manager comes out and asks who was uh, waiting for what. And then so we told him that we're waiting for the Majora's Mask 3DS. And then so he told us that he had two in stock and he asked who was there first. And I shot up and I said, I'm, I'm normally a pretty shy person, but I shot up and said, I was here first and this other guy was here second. And so he's like, and so he asked everyone else if they agreed with that and they said, yeah, surprisingly. So I was like, awesome. So he gave me like a card and he gave the other guy a card with numbers on them. And then so, when the store opened, we just went up to the front cashier and they already had them sitting there waiting for us. So that manager apparently knew that there was going to be people waiting for them, and I'm so glad. Because I didn't want to have to, like, fight other people for it. Oh, we can build a car too, I forgot about that. But anyway, that's how I got my Majora's Mask 3DS. Pretty cool. I also, uh, maybe I'll talk about this next episode or something like that. I also got the special edition Final Fantasy Fates. Kind of. I love that game so much, though. But I'll talk about that next time, maybe, if I remember. Um, so right now, we'll go ahead and build another car. Okay, let's do it. I have no idea. I, I don't even know if there's any other cars to build. No, not light. Not medium. Not heavy. Okay, I've built all, I've built all the road cars. And all the heavy off-road. Okay, this one doesn't have a and and then we'll change. We'll we'll check and see which one's actually better. Oh, that one looks pretty good though. I call it crap, dude. I th that's not what I was using. Oh, it does. I th I think that one's pretty good. But uh, well, I'm gonna check. I just wanted to select it so that it was there. Um, let's look at top speed and acceleration first. That one's got higher top speed but worse acceleration. That one's got more top speed but the same acceleration. Oh, holy crap, I didn't realize that one. <laughs> That's the one I've been using. Dang, I'll just keep using that one. I don't care about toughness. And it's almost maxed out in everything. So we'll just stick with that one. Um, we'll go ahead and save so I can show you my progress. I've been checking my progress. Actually, you know what? I don't want to save because... I don't want to save until I'm done recording because I don't want to save and then find out I didn't record and then I don't have a way to go back. Uh, well, so we'll just look at the progress just so you can see where we are. Last I checked, it was like over 75 or something like that. Yeah, 79%. So anyway, guys, that's it for episode 17. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.